going through the divorce process, there's going to be several um, events that are going to take place uh, that are going to define um, how easy or difficult your divorce is going to be. One of those events is going to be the practice of putting your camp together. We call it a divorce camp being those individuals that you surround yourself with for emotional support, uh, legal support, um, financial support, whatever support. It's those individuals that you're going to include into your camp that are going to influence your decision making. And the reason that we decided to do a video on this is because selecting those individuals is important. We normally gravitate to people that are close to us already, our family members, moms and dads and siblings and things like that are the people that we go to. And this is specifically for that emotional support. They want to help. They want to, they, they don't like seeing you in pain and they don't want to be, um, they, they want to help you get through this. Um, however, they are also watching you very closely and you're, they're, they're listening for you to tell them what your expectation of what they are supposed to be for you. And in a divorcing situation, it's safe to say that you're emotionally at one of the worst times of your life. And it's a result of your soon to be ex-spouse. And as you go about garnering the support from your camp, be mindful that it's not always the best thing to have them constantly in your ear telling you what a bad person your ex-spouse is. You've many times, whether you meant to or not, either directly or indirectly, um, told them that you want to hear that. But there comes a point in time in the divorce process where having that constant negative reminder of what a, the, the negative things about that person where it can actually be detrimental and it can actually cause you to um, take steps backwards. So normally what we try to coach people to do when, when forming these camps are to say, mom, dad, brother, sister, whoever it is, if you really want to support me, remind me that the world is going to be okay. I don't want to hear a lot about why my ex-spouse is a bad person. There will be plenty of that. They can be much more supportive to you by being positive than they can by continuing to um, feed the negative uh, impulses that will uh, be there. So choose your camp wisely and make sure that you instruct them on how they can be the best support for you in the divorce process.